Hey, how you guys doing? This is Demon Driver here, and I want to show you guys a little something. This, right here, is the Boeing 707 engine nacelle. Okay? Take a look at those babies. Those, that's the, those are the suppressors or tuning pipes for the Boeing 707-120, the old turbojet engine. And what are those? They're just straws painted black. Hot glued into position. That's all they are. That's it. A lot of people would look at suppressor pipes and say, how do you do that? That's, inc that's insane. That's impossible. No, it's pretty easy to do. And I'm going to show you real fast how to do them and uh, how to make them. Because with the MD-80 build coming up, and the A300, and the L-1011s on other planes, suppressor pipes are something really for vintage airplanes, like the Boeing 707, um, certain versions of the Caravelle, the DC-8, the first versions of the DC-8 with the old turbojet engines, and the Convair 880. When turbojets first came out in the mid-50s, to and, and the Comet, uh, let me not forget the comet as well. Um, at airports, the sound was incredible. The decibel noise was insane. So they came up with suppressors, and these suppressors were fitted to the back end of turbojets in order to try and smooth out the airflow so that uh, the noise would be cut down a little bit. These things were still loud as hell. So... 707 engine to sell. I'm going to show you guys real fast how to make suppressors for your airline. If you ever find yourself making a Convair 880 or a 707, you'll know how to do it. Alright. Hey, this is Demon Driver. Okay, now we're making our suppressors for turbo de tur turbojet engines. Alright. This is the 707's turbo, turbojet engine. There's the 70 millimeter EDF. That's the intake inlet that just slides in place, and that'll this will be chromed out. These are straws, eight of them. Kind of looks like a Gatling gun. Okay. All right, here we go. So what you do? You make sure that you draw out a uh, a uh, diagram of your of your turbojet engine nacelle with your suppressor pipes. Make sure that it's scaled to your plane and what you do is you take your straw or if you're doing a uh, Convair 880 the suppressor pipe is more like that and there's like a I think there's like seven of them or five in kind of a, a star flower formation. So this is aluminum you could cut this it would work fine. Take out a cardboard that's okay. This is just a regular straw, just a plastic straw. That's all that is. Okay, you place it down on your diagram for your engine nacelle with the suppressor, right? And then you take a marker, marker, mark a little bit. I hope you guys can see this. You mark a little bit past the end of the nacelle, all right? Okay, you mark that, you go ahead and you mark that, take yourself a scissor, cut this, cut the tuning pipe, bam, like that, get your hot glue gun, okay, and you, well first, before I do that, hang on, you mark where it ends, you got where the tuning pipe ends, but you mark where the cowl ends on the tuning pipe, so you have a little bit that runs past the end of the, uh, of the nacelle. You're going to fit the tuning pipe down inside. So what you do is you get your hot glue gun. Now in this case a hot glue gun and hot glue is fine. In structural build situations in carbon fiber, in things where you got structure and you got um, the structure of the plane stress loading, never use hot glue. Reason is in the summer, in the heat, Hot glue has a tendency to lose its strength. It kind of melts a little bit. So this is what hot glue does. When it forms into a solid, you can just add heat to it and it turns back into a liquid again. 
CA and epoxy doesn't do that. That's not good, okay? That's not good. But for this application, this is fine. You take your hot glue, you apply a little bit there like that, all right? And then you take, you take this, you take your tuning pipe, you stick it down inside like so, and you set it, and you let it set inside the back end of your 707 or Convair 880 or DC8 uh, engine cowl. Alright, and you let it set. Alright, you put your 8 in. They set just like this one. Alright, they set. Alright, and then you paint them, and they wind up looking like that. See? Just like a real 707. And they're hollow, of course, so the air exhaust comes straight through. I mean, you know, the actual from the EDF comes blowing right through, uninhibited. Everything's fine. You got your thrust, and you got a scale-looking vintage jet airliner. All right, guys, it's Demon Driver with more EDF jet airliner action. So stay tuned for more A300, and soon, in about two weeks, the MD-80 build. And after the MD-80 build, we're going to be building some really cool stuff. Uh, I may do, I'm definitely going to do a bunch of uh, Convair 80s, the Convair 990, and one of those jets I might do a build thread of. Alright? Alright, guys. Let's get building.